kidnapping in Nigeria now is a big business. It's really booming. I don't know why. Is something that I don't know what the government is doing to stem the tide. But you see, it becomes something that tears the heart apart. When the person at the center of the kidnap is fakes it. You fake your own kidnap to extort money from your folks. Even when you know that my folks cannot afford this amount of money that whoever you're dealing with is asking for. That's the case of this lady you're gonna you're looking at. That's what happened to her. 30 million naira. And also with these guys, his friends called when when he told me I became scared. He found out I was really scared. Then he told me that if I had mentioned it to anybody, that he would kill me. Then I did not tell anybody about the kidnap because he was a cultist and if I had mentioned anything he would really kill me. So I never told anyone. So November 27th, on my way back from school, I went to meet him at second room. That was where he took me to one hotel at Koka, which is alongside with his girlfriend, patient. Alongside with his girlfriend, patient. I never knew the girl until that time. I asked him who the girl was, then the girl was his girlfriend. Then he got to the hotel. For how many days? Seven days. And then he called my my sister son to request for last of 30 million. Then then they bargained on Thursday. They ended up at seven hundred thousand. Then on Thursday he went to collect the money and came back to the hotel on Friday morning. But he told me he collected six hundred thousand. Since that after that was on Friday he released me started he drops me back at second member. Then I started going home. Since that day, I have not seen him and my When I heard that my mama collapsed, I was very, very scared. That was when I actually told him to collect any amount they offered me and he sent me. How did he receive the money? He told me that he went to collect it from them outside my estate in a mode of Thursday and released me on Friday. Were you under captivity while you were with him? No, I was not. He said if I had tried anything that he would kill me. So I had to leave. So now when you got to your parents, how did they feel seeing you? They were happy that I was alive. I actually nice to them because the guy said if I had told them. Because he knows where I live, that he will still come after me. That was the why when I even got to the station, I never told the police the truth until when I saw his girlfriend. I've seen her once at her working place. The guy told me that she was his girlfriend, but the girl did not see me that day. My name is Shubi Precious. Last week, Sunday, I was preparing to join, so he came back and asked me for my small phone. And I asked him, what do you want to do with the phone? And I said, I'm not for my business. I should grow, I should grow him the phone first. He begged me that he wants to use it and do his next. And I asked him, what kind of business? But you have a big phone. He was not begging me to borrow, borrow him my phone. And I gave him my phone. So that Sunday, I did not see him. The next Monday, I did not see him. The following day, I did not see him. So I collected someone's phone in our compound to call him, to tell him to return my phone back. I want to make use of it. So he said that he will not return it. It's when my boss that I'm working with now called him. Then he took and gave him the phone. He took and gave me the phone. That is when he returned the phone in the afternoon. He drive over work. I'm not aware of anything that happened with him because on that Saturday, I was on my working place working before the policemen came to arrest me. So I was asking them, what did I do? So um, at what point did your parents got to know that you were involved in the whole kidnap? It was when I was arrested. My life was at stake. He was going to kill me if I had messed up. Even if I'm out of prison, I still fight. That's uh, 
a conspiracy and state kidnapping. The man at the center of this one is still at large. I want to be an Uber man. We are, we are going after him. So he has two, these two beautiful women that are his, let's say, a woman friend. He kept one of them. He conspired with uh, Ophir and cleverly used the phone of Precious. Police became part of the negotiation. At the end of the day, they settled for 700000 So why the money was being dropped, then we took action. That's why we were able to get so Ojoa Ophir arrested, with whom he conspired. Do you remember this guy? You know, I posted this video some weeks back when this incident took place in Germany. His name is Martins Adedeji Oni. He's a security, or he was a security officer at the Nigerian embassy in Germany. He was caught in, in a hotel with a, a lady that um, he already has planned to sleep with. So that she could renew her passport. Can you imagine that? This guy, he's just callous. Well, they suspended him after that incident because of what happened. But he said that whatever they were doing there was uh, consensual, that uh, there was no strings attached, that they, they agreed to do such. But the embassy thinks otherwise. The ambassador to Germany, the Nigerian ambassador to Germany, Yusuf Tuga, has said that the embassy has a zero tolerance policy towards abuse of office, especially one involving such misconduct. So he was suspended, but now he has been relieved of his duties. He asked for it. Why would somebody even think of doing such a thing? You know, if the, I, uh, I was wondering but maybe this guy got this job through the back door. Because if you if you spend time to attend interviews, to do s some studies, to do a lot of things, get to get this kind of a job, nobody that gets this kind of a job would play with it. But maybe the thing just happened to him like that. Maybe he knew somebody that knew somebody that knew somebody and a lot like just like that, he got the job. See how he played with it. This is the kind of a job that people look for. He got it on a platter of gold and see what he did. Some people do not learn. A momentary pleasure. What will it do for you? People are coming to renew their passport and you're making their lives difficult. You're making their lives miserable. People have been complaining, not only in Germany, even in the UK. Before you could renew your passport, sometimes you have to even give bribe to renew your passport. And you're asking a woman to sleep with you. And the woman told you, I am married. He said, it doesn't matter. Can you imagine? It doesn't matter. Maybe she wants to come back for Christmas. And she was really very desperate. He took advantage of her. Well, they have, they have, they have sacked him. No more suspension. He is now, he's no longer a staff of the embassy the embassy of the there was a statement to that effect they said the embassy of the federal republic of nigeria has terminated with immediate effect the contract of mr martin's adede Juni, a security officer at the mission his dismissal follows an investigation into allegations of corruption and sexual misconduct Mr. Oni was suspended from duty on 17th November after reports emerged that he had carried sexual favors in return for help with the renewal of a passport. The embassy immediately established an investigation committee to examine the allegations and any related issues and to make recommendations for action. 
the committee interviewed Mr. Oni and other witnesses as part of a thorough examination of these very serious charges. It concluded that Mr. Oni was culpable and in violation of all the relevant codes. As a result, Mr. Martins Adedeji Oni contract with the embassy as a local staff has been terminated. Well, serves him right. He brought this upon himself and you see, the, the, the thing was, they said this guy is a serial offender. That is not what he does all the time. He's used to it. Not because so, but not so he be. You go they do oh, one day. You know, say you go they do the happy, say the thing that they you, you be looking at himself. Ah, I'm a big boy. I'm I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Yes, look at all these fine girls. One day now, one day I go carry them. Look at it. And if care is not taken, this man must be married. This guy must be married. Now look at what he has brought upon himself. I don't even pity him. Serves him right. He asked for it. He got it. So now at least now he is free to run up and down to do whatever he likes. I beg, Jerry. That one don't pass. Oh, thanks for stopping by. If you're here for the first time, you are most welcome to this channel. God bless you for stopping by. I would like you to do something else. Kindly, <laughs> kindly subscribe to my channel. You know, subscription is free. I know that data is not free. But subscription is free. If you have come here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And click the notification bell so you you get to see other videos as i upload them and for my old subscribers thank you for supporting my channel god bless you i really appreciate all of you thank you so much i'll see you in the next video bye